the narrower the niche you can serve, the deeper it allows you to just ingrain yourself within everything that those people are all about, everything that those people care about. Um, and like I said, it is the ultimate form of respect. Serving is providing a, a solution for a need, for providing a solution for a problem. That's serving. And by doing so, it enables you to do an insane amount of volume because you can streamline all those processes. It's just like a process with anything. It could be a process in manufacturing. Once you get a process down based around a specific type of outcome that you're trying to get, then it's all about refining it. When I posted the results from this afternoon and I said, hey, walked into this building at 8.30 in the morning, left at 3.30 and sold 59 life insurance policies, which is you know more than the average insurance agent does in three or four months. The reason I was able to do that is because I was able to instantly build rapport, instantly gain trust just in what I said, how I said it, what I was wearing, what we looked like, how we carry ourselves, how we talk to other people, how we address the room, how we stand, how we sit, every single thing. And all of that has been specifically designed and created with the intention of only serving that narrow niche. Is we're extremely, extremely narrow in the niche of people that we serve, and um, life yeah, with life insurance, but like within the people that we actually sell to, like it's extremely narrow. And by doing that, we've been able to build all these systems around that particular person. So, like, yeah. let's just say, like in real estate, if you want to do like first time, first -time home buyers, yeah, like that's what I'm trying to focus on. Yeah, so first time home buyers. But then even like try to go like even more narrow, like first time home buyers in the east side of town or like, you know, first time home buyers downtown or first time home buyers, you know, like if you can become an expert in an area, it, man, it sets you up for success. It all gets back to going all in on your niche. Next thing I'll mention, if you're going to choose a group of people to serve, if you're going to choose a group of people to work with all of the time, you should probably choose a group of people that you genuinely enjoy being around. Maybe it would make life more enjoyable if the people that you worked with every single day you actually liked. What a thought. So just think about that. Like that's probably the best group that you should work with. Like, so again, if you're a real estate agent, when you're going out on, on calls with potential clients, when you're going to look at houses, when you're doing an open house and you have those certain people that walk in the door that you're like, oh, thank God, it's one of them. Versus when you have certain people that walk in the door and you're like, oh, ugh, get these people out of here like as quickly as possible. Who are those people that you just genuinely love being around, that you genuinely love working with? Um, that's who you need to build your systems around. That's what's gonna bring fulfillment in your life because you're working with the people that you wanna work with and you're creating a system around it to be able to work with more of them. And it's just an enjoyable way to go about your life. You wanna talk about quality life, work, incredibly hard all day with people you love being around and make an incredible living. That's fulfillment. Mm -hmm.